hello viewers in today's lecture we are going to uh, discuss uh, one important uh, definite integral involving uh, signum function right so here uh, we have to uh, solve this integral uh, from minus e to e and the integrand is signum of x right so here uh, e is the exponential number uh, which is uh, uh, an irrational number and e uh, lies between uh, 2 and 3 right so now we have to evaluate uh, this definite integral right okay so now uh, here uh, the integrand is uh, say uh, phi of x is equal to uh, signum of uh, x right so this is the signum function and uh, from the definition of signum function uh, we know that uh, signum function it takes the value plus 1 uh, whenever uh, this uh, x is uh, greater than 0 and uh, signum of x is equal to 0 if uh, x is equal to 0 and signum of x is equal to minus 1 if uh, x is less than 0 right so uh, here we have assumed that uh, signum of x is equal to some function phi of x right okay so now uh, uh, we have to uh, evaluate this integral and uh, here uh, if we take the uh, number line so here we have uh, uh, minus infinity here we have plus infinity this is the uh, real uh, number line and uh, here we have minus e and here we have uh, positive e right and uh, uh, between minus e and uh, plus e we have uh, uh, the point x is equal to uh, 0 right so uh, uh, towards the uh, left of uh, x equal to 0 uh, we have uh, the numbers which are less than uh, 0 right so x is less than 0 and towards the right uh, all the numbers are greater than 0 right so uh, what we will do uh, we will split this integral i uh, as a sum of two integrals that is i1 and i2 right so i1 is from minus e uh, to 0 right from minus e to 0 because all the numbers uh, which uh, lies between minus e and 0 uh, they are all less than uh, 0 right so we have uh, here uh, signum of x and dx and i2 is from uh, 0 uh, to e right because all the numbers which lies between 0 and e uh, are greater than 0 so here we have uh, integral 0 to e and signum of x dx right so now uh, we can write minus e to 0 and the signum of x see here uh, uh, all the values of x which belongs to the interval minus e to 0 are uh, less than uh, 0 so uh, signum of x takes the value minus 1 right and uh, here uh, we have uh, uh, x belonging to the interval uh, 0 to e and all the values of uh, x which uh, lies between uh, this uh, uh, interval uh, they are all uh, greater than 0 so here signum of x takes the value plus 1 right so now we have these two integrals and we can easily solve them uh, by a simple uh, technique and here we have minus taking negative sign outside we have minus e to 0 dx and here we have 0 to e uh, dx right and the integral of uh, dx is x so here we have x and here we have the uh, 
negative sign and the limits are from minus e to 0 and here we have the integral of dx is x and the limits are from 0 to e right so now uh, uh, we can substitute the limits here and we'll take the difference so we have 0 x equal to 0 then we have x equal to minus e and here we have uh, minus e right and here uh, we have x is equal to e and x equal to 0 so we have uh, now uh, this is minus minus plus and then we have minus e and here we have uh, plus e so minus e and plus e get cancelled and we are left with uh, 0 right so uh, viewers here we see that uh, the uh, value of this integral uh, which involves the signum function is 0 and now uh, let us see the uh, geometrical significance of uh, this result now viewers uh, uh, let us see the graph of uh, uh, signum of x right so uh, when x is equal to 0 uh, then the value of uh, uh, signum of x is 0 so here we have the point uh, at the origin uh, this is 0 comma 0 and when uh, x is greater than 0 uh, then we have uh, uh, the value of signum of x is equal to 1 so here we have plus 1 and here we have uh, minus 1 right so the graph of uh, signum of x it goes like this and here also we have the line uh, y is equal to minus 1 and here we have the line y is equal to 1 this is y is equal to minus 1 and here we have the open circle uh, which implies that x is uh, 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 greater than uh, 0 right so we'll exclude these two points okay so this is the graph of signum of x now in the given problem uh, we have to integrate a uh, signum of x from minus e to e right so minus e it lies somewhere here uh, because uh, the value of uh, the approximate value of e is uh, 2.71 and uh, uh, minus e lies somewhere here and uh, uh, plus e it lies somewhere here right okay and now from the definition of uh, a definite integral uh, we know that uh, uh, a definite integral represents the area under the curve right so when we integrate uh, from minus e to 0 right when we integrate from minus e to 0 uh, signum of x dx then uh, we get this area right so we'll get uh, this area and uh, when uh, we integrate uh, signum of x from 0 to e from 0 to e then uh, we have the area uh, this one right so in that case we'll have this area and we see that uh, the value of this integral from uh, minus e to e is 0 right so why this is 0 because the area from minus e to 0 is equal to minus e which we have just uh, calculated right and this area lies uh, below the x-axis so that's why it is minus e and uh, the area uh, above the x-axis is positive e right and see these two areas uh, get cancelled and uh, we have the total area as 0 right so uh, so this is the uh, geometrical interpretation of uh, this integral right